Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Dohalim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No... Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me, but my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No, I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. out in the valley. Windmills? They're huge. They're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big. Right there! Don't move! They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? You first! Show yourself! I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. What are you... My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Bayfon, of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces, so everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. <sighs> you
You do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadeye. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, uh, yes. I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. So you're Elfin, are ya? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the Blazing Sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then- mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. My friends. <sighs> friends? Renans are Renans. The scum sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now. Would you know that? Maybe it's because you and the little lady are friends and more. <gasps> You'll pay for that! That's enough! Deadeye, you know that was completely uncalled for. Hmm. All of you, get the hell out of my realm! And don't ever come back! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here! And I make the rules! I do! Deadeye! Leader of the Dark Way! Yes! Yeah, Deadeye! 
Liberator Deadeye! You are the true leader of this realm! We're not afraid of any bright eyes! It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! Hey, wait up! Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon? Deadeye mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renans as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renans. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. I get the feeling Deadeye signed up to be a rebel so he could have a roost to rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is... When you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful. 
And because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it'd been Zephyr instead of Deadeim, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling, but at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Deadeye and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. The city is liberated, and yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicent once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danons with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves, and outright forbade the ownership of instruments, is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. What's wrong? <sighs> All right. What the? find anyone who needs help here. I know. We'll make sure to ask what's wrong. Mm-hmm. Well... I see.
That's some cryptic text, all right. It could mean anything. Can't we just look around the area for clues or something? Hey, maybe these are supposed to be different locations? Oh, now you're into this too, huh?
We've reached our destination. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Guess I'll polish up my sword. This should definitely keep you guys full. Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> that definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again, maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.